China said to hire more virtual workers after property developer China Wanke names AI Robert a top employee for 2021. AI-based debt collector Kui Xiaopan was the recipient of China Wanke's Outstanding Newcomer Award for 2021. China, which plans to be a world leader in AI by 2030, is predicted to deploy more virtual employees this year and year 2022. Before we continue, if you like what we talk about on this channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'll give you a few seconds to do that and then we'll continue. The gross potential for artificial intelligence applications in China appears to remain strong following property developer China Bank's recent move to name its in-house developed virtual debt collector as a top employee for 2021. The software robot named Kui Xiaopan, represented by a lifelike female avatar, was bestowed the honor of 2021 Vanka Headquarters Outstanding Newcomer Award, the AI employee for proving much more efficient than human beings in terms of pressing debtors and reminding them to pay. That development has become a prime example of a why China, which plans to be a world leader in AI by 2030, is predicted to deploy more virtual employees this year, according to a report by consulting firm Analysis. China Bank's virtual debt collector is one of the latest AI applications to generate plenty of buzz on the mainland in recent years, after the likes of Tencent Holdings' robot reporter Dreamwriter, which can churn out 1,000-word stories in 60 seconds, and the AI television news anchor of state-run Xinhua News Agency. They will emerge more virtual employees who have both business and technological capabilities among the companies that are equipped with robotic process automation, low-code development platforms, and artificial intelligence technologies. With these virtual employees setting examples with their high performance, other employees will also be encouraged to improve their skills, which will eventually drive the digital transformation of these companies. China Bank, the country's third biggest home seller by sales with about 140,000 employees, is already known for rapidly implementing technology including Robert Cooks to prepare lunch and its various projects on the mainland to save on human resources and maintain a high level of standard for its services. The Hong Kong and Shenzhen listed property group's founder and former chairman Wang Shi said in 2015 that 40% of its property management services from sweeping floors to guarding its estates would be done by robots in 10 years. On the credentials of the firm's virtual employee, China Bankers Lu said in his social media post that Kui recorded a 91.4% success rate in collecting accounts receivables and overdue loan repayments. Kui was developed by China Bankers Long Tai Tu unit using Microsoft Corp's Xiaoyi's AI system. In China's AI software market, applications for AI robots or virtual humans have become one of the most popular according to tech research firm IDC. It forecasts the value of this software segment to reach 23 billion yuan, it's 3.6 billion US dollars by 2030. Use of virtual humans has already become popular in the fields of retail and entertainment in China. Virtual idols, for example, have caught the imagination of the Chinese population after initially blazing a trail in Japan in the 1990s. From Ayai, with more than 121,000 followers and lifestyle platform, Xia Hongshu, since launching last May in 2021, to Ling Yuzheng, who likes to dress and wear makeup in traditional Chinese style, virtual idols have gone mainstream in the world's second largest economy. Companies such as personal healthcare chain Watson's and cosmetics giant L'Oreal have their own virtual idols used to communicate with consumers. Virtual influencers are extremely popular among younger fans and in particular Gen Z consumers who are curious to experiment and try new things. China's virtual idol market is expected to reach 12 billion yuan this year alone 2022, up from 1.2 billion yuan in 2018, according to data from market research firm iMedia. Just before you leave, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing, of course, if you like the things we talk about on this channel. Thank you. Till next time. Bye.